I want to tell you how using a continuous glucose monitor on my own, I also got tripped up during the first stage. So my name is Karen Kennedy. I'm a functional nutritionist. I specialize in helping people hack their blood sugar using a continuous glucose monitor. And this is the second video in a series of showing you the process of using a continuous glucose monitor, the most skillful way that I have found over the years. So I haven't used a continuous glucose monitor for a couple of years now. And I put one on this month because I thought I want to try out another kind of continuous glucose monitor. And I'm a few years older. I want to see what's changed. So what I did is I put it on and I started wearing it. And instead of doing the process, I usually hold my groups and my patients in. I made the most common mistake, which is I jumped in and started trying to hack my blood sugar from day one. Yeah, when I saw, oh, that's high, I should get it down. Or what can I eat today to get the lowest blood sugar? And I noticed, I noticed after a few days, gosh, I feel really stressed. This whole blood sugar monitoring thing stresses me out. It's kind of giving me eating disorders. And then I remembered, oh, that's because I'm doing it wrong. I'm jumping to conclusions too quickly instead of just sitting back and collecting data, right? Because it's kind of a mind fuck when you do it the other way. So instead of second guessing myself all the time and trying to micromanage on a day-to-day -day basis, what I did is I just kind of started ignoring a little bit. And what do I do? I just log my food. I'm logging my meals. Like sometimes I forget and I go back and I say, I put in a timestamp at noon and I write in roughly what I had for lunch because the way I do it, there's no granular logging. I just put in, I don't know, like you'd put in turkey sandwich, chips, and water. And I uh, woke up at 5 a.m., you know, at 5 a.m. So I'm logging. And that way, at the end of this two weeks, I'm just going to go over my historical data on LibreView and see what are the trends, what, were, what was consistent, what helped, what hurt. Hmm. And that is how I'm going to form my next hypothesis so I can plan my experiments on the next sensor. And that is stage one of that process. It's an, ex it's an example. And I'm telling you this. I'm telling you how I got tripped up by it, me personally, who I have so much experience at supporting people and helping people use a continuous glucose monitor. I do it every day, but because I'm doing it on my own, I don't have that coach in front of me. I don't have that partner that that's what I provide to other people. And so I got tripped up and I got sucked into trying to micromanage it every day. So it's not just you. <laughs> it's not just you. This is our nature. And that's why when I work with people, either in a group or one-on-one, -on -one, I hold them in a process, I give them the roadmap ahead of time, and hopefully, hopefully, they trust the process. And the people who trust the process lean into it and just collect that data right away. Those are the people who do the best in the program with less stress.